Radio Grape 12, this is it, episode 3 in this brand new series on how to smack your final exams. Now, in the previous video, we looked at civil analytical. In this one, we look at question 2. And in your exam guidelines, it is specified that this will be either a solid geometry question or an interpenetration and development question, and it will be 20%, which is roughly 40 marks of this paper. So a very important part of this paper. It could also be a solid and interpenetration. In other words, almost a reduced version of both of them to get to that 20%. What's interesting is that last year they asked the solid geometry, and the year before that, 2019, it was the interpenetration and development. We look at both of these questions that was asked, as well as the memos in this video. What I want to go to is next, what do they define for a solid geometry and the interpenetration and development? Now, this is in the exam guidelines in the download below. But for you, let's read through what is prescribed. So, solid geometry will be a first angle orthographic drawing of solids or a combination of solids. So, it can be more than one, which includes also solids with a hole in them. The solids and the shape of the holes may be either right regular prisms or pyramids with either three, four, five, six, or eight sides. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is very important for you to be able to construct an octagon, a hexagon, and a pentagon, etc. Okay, you must be able to construct that, as well as right regular cylinders or cones. The axis of the solids may be perpendicular to each other, parallel, or even inclined to one principal projection plane. Only include the following sectional views, the true shape of the cut surface, all in detail, and non-section sections. Let's look at last year's question before we go to interpenetration in the second half of this video. Last year's question was this one here, okay? And we're going to show the memo in a moment. Let's look at what was asked for, for you in this video. So first of all, the front view and the top view of a right regular hexagonal pyramid and a right square pyramid. Okay, let's look at the question. There's the front view of... And you see, as we read now, our pyramid, right, which is a hexagonal one, six sides, plus a right square pyramid, okay? They've given us cutting plane SS. They've given us all the information to be able to draw these drawings. On the left-hand side, of course, there's no starting point. You are going to have to plan this drawing, okay? The two solids do not touch each other. And you can see here in the top view, actually, there's some um, gap between the two. Both solids are cut by this cutting plane. What do you have to draw? You have to draw this given front view, a sectional top view. So this is a normal top view. We're going to have to cut it. And then if you look from the top, you're going to remove the part that is closest to your fingers, which we will see here. A sectional top view, and it will cut through this um, pyramid as well. A sectional right view. Now, first angle of the graphic projection, you're going to have front view, top view, right view. Your 45 degree angle will be here. So front, top, 45 degree, right view will be here. And then you'll have to get the true shape of this cut surface. And to get that, you'll have to be looking 90 degrees onto your cut surface. So you're going to most likely project it down to this area. So if we then plan this drawing, we have to plan our front view, top view, the right view, and our ability to project that true shape over to the side. Let's look at the actual memo. I'm not going to be drawing all of these drawings. It's There's not enough time, but drawings like this you will find in my How to EGD channel videos, so you can go through them at your own time. But practice this one specifically. You have the memo, memo also in the download link. So this was the given view that was drawn, the front view. Uh, yeah, front view. There's the top flat surface of this pyramid that we actually see here in the construction details, okay? And then our um, right regular square pyramid, here it is. Okay, now where do they give marks? They give marks for all your outlines and your hidden details, your cut plane. So how did you draw the front view exactly how it was given? Then of course you're going to draw your top view in construction and you're going to use this cutting plane to actually bring down each one of these points where it cuts. There you can see, there you can see how they line up. Okay, we can go with all the way through. Each one of them lines up to actually complete this top view. Okay, there's two points there. All right, now 
At the bottom, that's not visible, of course, was this heating detail, but that's going to um, not be visible. This part falls away. That's why this isn't drawn as outlines. And then that is what remains here if we check those marks. Okay. Then you're going to project with your 45 degree across to get your right here. And that will be, if I look from the right hand side, what do I see? I see this surface here, which is that. I will still see these lines coming down. There they are. Okay, and the hidden detail at the back. Please note, you have to draw a hidden detail behind the cut surface. And then your uh, right regular uh, pyramid, here we go. There's the top of it. That's that one there. And each one of these you can actually go, go and find. Okay, and then this last part there is that part that's not cut. Okay, and you can see how the marks was awarded. You also see there the hatching, how important that was. And, um, of course, that hatching is at 45 degrees. Okay, same on this side. Remember, because these are two separate solids, the hatching direction needs to be different. Okay, and then your true shape of this. Now, this would have been drawn at the 90 degree angle out of this cutting plane. So you'll have your XY and then slide that out, another XY, and projecting all of these down to get this. Where do I get these marks? Two XYs back. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Please look at the videos on how this is done uh, if you're unsure. All right. Please make sure that on each of these drawings, you'll also see here on the actual question, it gives you the allocation of marks. Where's your front view? Sectional top view and construction. Sectional right view. True shape. And then any penalties. Let's say you got your views wrong. There might be penalties. That's your 38. Okay. Let's look at the next one which is the second option that you might have. It's interpenetration and development. And this was a 2019 paper, so possibly likely that it will be asked again next year. It's first angle of the graphic projection, view showing the curve of interpenetration. That's what this is all about. Formed between two solids, either tubes or pipe joint at either 30, 45, 60 or 90 degrees. The solids, the tubes or pipes must be only right regular prisms with and there we have the different sides again um, and or cylinders the axis of the two solid tubes or pipes must meet in a common plane in line only but the curve of interpenetration could be non-symmetrical you'll see in the example all the hidden detail must be shown unless otherwise stated include the surface development of the parts of the interpenetrating solids tubes or pipes and then this here's a couple of important things when they refer to tubes, the sides of those tubes are of insignificant thickness. Don't worry about that. You'll have to plan your layout. You'll have to show all construction calculations that you require to do these drawings must be shown. Um, projections and folding lines must be shown. Learners sometimes forget these folding lines. Then mechanical drawing hatching, that's at 45 degrees. And the rules thereof must be applied to the cut surface of the section solid as well as the true shape of the cut surface. Only the curves of irregular arcs may be drawn in neat freehand, but ideally please use your French curve if you have one. Right, so let's look at the interpenetration that was asked in 2019. Now the big challenge that I find with my own learners in these kind of drawings is just the difficulty to actually get them started and understanding what is given. Okay, so let's take some time and read through this question. The top view and incomplete front view of a right regular hexagonal prism, okay, six sides, that has been shaped to fit over an equilateral triangular prism. Okay, just stop there for a moment. If you look at this top view, we have the pyramid's top edges here. There's a hidden detail because it's obscured by our actual hexagon. And then the bottom base sides of this. So we've got this right regular hexagonal prism that's actually fitting over this triangle. Now, in your mind's eye, you should be able to see it, but I like to just do like pencil sketches for myself. And I quickly did this one. So you can see here, we've got our triangular prism at the bottom and our hexagon fits over it. Okay, and you can see there the curve of interpenetration here. Uh, I haven't done the hidden detail, but you get the idea. Now, if you look at that, if I look from the top, it's this what I'm going to see. It's this hexagon here, and then those two lines are actually that line and the one that you see on that side. The base here at the bottom is in these two bases, which is also in hidden detail on that side. Okay, but that's, you can do a sketch like that just for yourself to get understanding, or hopefully you can see this in your mind. That's going to be awesome. All right, 
So that's what is given. The axis of both lie in a common plane, which means the center of this actual triangle is in a common plane, in, in line with the center of a hexagon. Um, and then they've given you this as an auxiliary view. You're going to need all this information to draw this. What do we have to draw? We have to draw this given top view. We have to then draw a right view. And again, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have an XY. You're going to extend that XY 45 degrees. And we, our right view is going to be here. This is first angle orthographic projection. This is my front view. And this is the top view. Okay. So you have to draw this given top view. You're going to have to draw a right view. A complete front view with this curve of interpenetration. You can see here already, you know, how that is going to look. All right. Uh, then the complete front view clearly showing that curve the, and the development of the surface of the hexagonal prism, this main pipe we're going to have to develop and we're going to make each A the seam. There's A, it's this corner, we're going to make that the seam. Okay, let's look at the actual memo. There we have it. This was the front view drawn and the top view. So again, there's videos on this channel describing exactly the steps to do these drawings. I'm not going to go into detail, but you can again see how these line up. Okay, this point here is that one. And then it goes over this top part and then goes down to the back to this point. Okay, and then it falls down to this point at the back, comes back up here and then again over. So what I'm talking about over, it, it's this that I'm talking about. Is that over this edge here that you see in that detail there and then from the front it comes to the front now we're here we're moving to this point which is that point and then back and then back up over okay so that's a curve of interpenetration and you're going to have to take your time to construct that all right once you've done that uh, you're going to be able to do the hidden detail and your solid lines you're going to have your 45 degree here to project your right view okay once you have this you are going to develop your main pipe. And the key here is to use only true lengths. There you can see the actual development. So you're going to have a space on your page where you're going to allocate for this. This uh, wasn't printed out necessarily according to scale. But I'm going to show you where we get all of these measurements. Okay, let's take the first one, this seam here, which I said as A. Okay, that you will, you will get that length. You can only get from where it is a true length. Okay. So for it to be a true length, any line here, for us to measure, is it a true length? Okay, you ask yourself, is it parallel to the x, y in one of the opposite views? So let's find, for instance, this front corner, which is this one here. If we bring that across to our 45 and up, it's this line here. Okay, this line is parallel to the x, y. So therefore, this here is a true length. That one then is a true All of these lines are parallel. To this xy so i can know now that these are then also true lengths okay and it's these true lengths that you will use to determine these heights okay how do i get the spacing here well you're going to use it again with true lengths and if you look here this surface here is again this line parallel to this xy which means that all of these are true lengths okay and so i can then use these as true lengths to get those instances here those smaller bits okay all right that's a quick overview take your time download these documents to do question two and practice it if you draw this with confidence you are going to be assured of 40 marks and ladies and gentlemen you need to try and do these drawings within 30 minutes okay so make sure your page is empty start planning your front view top view right view and your development either way here and get these drawings done within 30 minutes. Practice your solids and your interpenetration and development. Now it's your turn.